Here the diabetic bulle or the large intact bulle arise spontaneously on the lower legs, feet, dorsa of the hands and fingers on non-inflamed basis. When these bulle get ruptured oozing bright red erosions but these bulle heal after several weeks and these are especially localized on dorsa of the hand and fingers which mainly suggests porphyria cutanea tarda but abnormalities of the porphyrin metabolism are not found. This is the differential diagnosis between porphyria cutanea tarda and the diabetic bulle. So neither trauma nor an immunologic mechanism has been implicated in the formation of this bullet. But histologically, these bullets show intra or sub-epidermal clufting without acantholysis. So here let us see one of the examples where you can see on the screen which is a large intact bulla is seen on the pre-tibial skin on the right lower leg. And the patient had many of the vascular complications of diabetes mellitus that is renal failure retinopathy and atherosclerosis resulting in amputation of the left big toe. So this is what you need to know what exactly is about the diabetic bullet.